Being a powerlifter means everything to me. It is my life, it completely consumes me. It's just who I am. From a very young age, I've always been extremely obsessed with one thing and one thing only. And that's why I can give and devote so much to powerlifting as a sport, is just because that's the way I've always been. We train at our own place down at LR Strength Shed. I have so much fun down at that place. It's literally like you're heading up to town on a Friday night, but I just go to the gym instead and I'm there with my mates. <laughs> The environment basically just breeds success and a champion's mindset. It's almost an animal in itself. I'm a very positive person. I don't think there's anything that I can't do if I apply myself to it 100%. I think that's what powerlifting's taught me. You know, it's very true to the fact that you're getting what you put out. I live for training, I live for powerlifting. If I didn't like powerlifting, I wouldn't do it. And I absolutely love the sport and I love training and I just, just love being strong literally consumes me to the point that I can't really think about anything else. From the moment I wake up on a morning to the moment I go to sleep, I'm thinking about training, I'm thinking about being better in training, about powerlifting. That's quite mentally taxing, but it makes it worth it when you do have them good sessions and touch wood, I ain't had a bad comp yet, and I think that shows. I'm very proud to be a Yorkshireman. It's definitely a hotbed for athletes. I don't know if that's because there's just something bred into us that makes us maybe have a bit of a chip on our shoulder or something like that. I'm not sure, but now nah, I'm definitely proud to be from Yorkshire. I have a steak and rice meal twice a day, both before training. I just feel it fuels my body really well up for the sessions. When you're trying to gain size and bulk up, it's just you just got to get calories in, you know what I mean? Before the gym, I eat really well, I eat really good foods. To be honest, there's nothing dirty at all, but then after the gym, I'm just an absolute pig. <laughs> I'll have this one now, and then I'll eat again in about two hours before I'm about to head to the gym. Basically, what I've done is, is just put a bit of a timeline on every powerlifting comp I've ever done. And I've put my squat, bench, deadlift and total on every single competition and kind of my favourite or most memorable moments from each competition. It's quite cool to look up and just kind of see how far you've come, to be honest. Obviously, look at the first one there. It's like 768 kilo total and then two years later, 1010.5. It just kind of puts things into perspective and makes you quite proud of yourself, to be fair. Whenever I get up on a morning, you know, I get up and I look at my wall and I look at my medals and it just just keeps you hungry. I'll be like Big Z, I need big house for my trophies. Just this feeling about a foul and not a lot of people have done that, especially at my age. I was the youngest person to do it at the time. It felt good to take that to where people didn't think it could be taken. It's just what I've wanted to say for a long, long time. It's just this feeling of just massive, massive accomplishment. I'd have my heart set on doing it for so long and then you finally do it and it just feels so good. That was genuinely the worst moment of my life, was dropping that deadlift. It meant so much to me to go and win, and then I literally dropped the win. It's the only time I've lost as well. I wasn't as committed as I am now. I was nowhere near as dedicated, and I think it just keeps you honest. Every time maybe you're thinking of slacking, all I have to do is just look up at that and just think, I never ever want to be there ever again. come in the hot tub just before my session i do 10 minutes in here and i'll do five minutes under the hose pipe and i'll jump back in here five minutes just to get warm and i do that pre and post training cold <laughs> not so bad doing it at this time it's when you do it at night it's a bit colder before training it's just it's awesome at just getting rid of any sort of little soreness that are still lingering after the weekend and just Walking in that gym feeling like ready to go. In terms of powerlifting, I've already achieved everything I wanted to. I think the only thing that's keeping me is the fact that maybe if I went out, it'd be too early. 
The thing is with me is try to take things as far as you can possibly take it. And in strength sports, I don't deem there to be anything more prestigious than World Strongest Man. I think it is the biggest competition that you could win in strength sports. So I'm just trying to get that strength base as high as I possibly can and take that as far as I can take it before you know it's time to take a step back from powerlifting and focus on strongman. And then ultimately, I want to take that as far as I can take it as well, which is winning World Strongest Man. Say I want to be World Strongest Man, I want to be the next Zajuna Civicius. Just go down as one of the greatest to ever do it. That's what I want to do in my life. The platform of Strongman is absolutely enormous. The Giants live shows where you're in front of 12,000 people now. The only other place that you're going to be able to achieve that is if you become a rock star. And I don't think that I've got the voice or the skill to do that. So I think I'll have to pursue it that way. You go through stages with some lifts where you love them and you hate them, but I think the most consistent one for me that I love is probably deadlift. I just love deadlift, I just think it's like the most raw, pure form of strength that you can find. Being successful in powerlifting and building a bit of a name for myself is almost just another piece of the story. I want people to come back and kind of say, all oh, right, he's done this, and then he's strategically gone on to do that, and then look at where he is now. <laughs> You can be thinking about nothing else. You've got to be completely calm in just the chaos. Your execution has to be perfect. You haven't got time to make mistakes, especially when you're on the platform. I didn't think that I'd achieve everything that I did in a shorter time scale as what I actually did. It's seeking them higher peaks, the bigger mountains to climb. I need a new challenge to keep me pushing forward. If there is a change of heart, I could see myself winning an open world title regardless of who's there within the next two, three years. I'm just putting the Try to reach you back to DC here. <laughs>